Well, it's time for a Midwest front page story. Did you ever hear the story about the time we went to Six Flags after it was hot for an entire week and it was like 70 degrees? The place was packed and we didn't go in? Here's that story. Come with us on a Midwest adventure when the park is too packed to go into. So I know the people over at Six Flags are more used to seeing cameras. Order how the country folk are gonna react to us bringing a camera into Royal King. Well, I mean, if it starts causing friction, you can always just put the, put it away. Right. This isn't exactly the middle of nowhere, though. It's just a few minutes away from St. Louis County. Right. Hey, I have the Midwest Fun page shirt on, so they'll know where to find the video. Yep. Okay, so the first place we're going to is... What is it called, Heather? Farm and Home Supply. It used to be called Rural King, I believe. Or maybe the Rural King is a little further up. We're on Highway 30, which is Gramway. Um, it's been about two years. Yeah, it's been so about two I'm years. I'm not really sure. Right. I just remember getting gummy bears from this place, right? Is this place? They had a lot of candy. No, they had a lot of candy. Joe likes candy. Hopefully you and didn't we, get sugar-free gummy bears. We were excited because um, it was 2020. And let's just say we had been spending a lot of time in the house. And we were we were excited to go on an adventure. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. Turn here. I guess they went through a name change. Yeah, or did. or we're just remembering incorrectly that oh, Rural is, King does exist. Yeah, Rural King does exist. This used to be a Kmart. We need to turn this into like GMR event. G what is it called? GRM Adventures. GRM Adventures. But they go to abandoned places. Don't they? Yeah, and welcome back to St. Louis. GMR. Look at this title, Max. It has space for a play place. This guy's gonna drive drive through my shot. There you go. Go ahead, bud. There's the. Tile Max uh, with a place for a play place. Are you subscribed? You should probably subscribe right now and make sure to hit the notification bell. Okay, so I, I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking I'm probably gonna get some dirty looks with this phone going into Royal King. So I'm gonna put it in my pocket and. This is not Royal King. Oh, okay. <laughs> Farmer, farm home supply. We're gonna go on a trip to Walmart and I'm gonna call it Target. The whole time. <laughs> hey, we ran into one of our big fans. Well, it's always nice to see our big fans. Didn't expect to see them all the way out here in this store. You know, all kinds of cool stuff here. It's like half a Walmart, half a Home Depot. And it's kind of a grocery store too, but it's a pretty cool place. Hey. Hey, Joe, they got hay. Yes, they do. Did I mention, Joe, you want to tell them about the Battlehawks? Oh, yes. The XFL is returning, as are the St. Louis Battlehawks. Their triumphant return is nigh. Yeah, they announced that St. Louis is going to team again. There's three, three teams in Texas. I couldn't tell you where the other teams are. I didn't see New York, but I don't see why they wouldn't. Last time they had one, it was called the New York Guardians, I think. No, no, not maybe. I think so. I could be wrong. So this used to be a Kmart. I can tell by the ceiling tiles. And Mike, Midwest Mike, would tell you that the floor tiles reminds you of a Kmart. I don't know if this this tile over here is from, from Kmart, but the, these yellow tiles, they remind me of Kmart also. This totally looks like a Kmart. It sounds like somebody brought a dog in. Ah, oh, nuts. Oh, 
nuts. What's wrong? Oh, I'm nuts. Nuts? Oh, okay. I like these blue bolts. Oh, Battlehawk blue. Yep. Ooh, I like these green bolts. And they have blue bolts over here. Still green. And black. And there's green and gold. So we got lots of so we got lots of uh, car related stuff here and there's WB40 and he's just on uh, the Midwest machine sometimes. Yeah. Mostly car stuff right around here. Yeah. Car oil. So this is like the Kmart section, I guess, like the oh, the automotive section. Now my neighbor can use this. He's he, he's got a uh he's got a flooding issue in his house. Oh, you hate, yeah. you hate to see it. Plumbing, uh, gasoline, and windshield wipers. I wish a well, this ain't really close to the house. Good prices, though. Hey, Joe, we're gonna watch that movie later. You wanna eat some dog food? Actually, the, this is <laughs> Joe. Look what it is. It's horse food. That's interesting. <laughs> this is all horse food. Joe used to have a horse lived across the street from him. Well, what did, was the actually. horse's name? You know what? I don't recall. Did you uh, ever talk to him? No, but my father did. Okay, did the horse sell the house, or where did the horse go? The horse went with my neighbor when he moved. Was the horse paying taxes? Nobody probably pays taxes on the horse. Did the horse have his own car? No, he just he had his own horsepower. Oh, man. Horsepower? Right. Whenever you hear people say, oh, that's chicken feed... This is chicken feed. They even have rabbit food. Yep. I wonder if they sell bear pellets. Is this rabbit food? Yes, it they is. They even have rabbit food. It looks like a nice rabbit to have. Timothy Hay. This for rabbits. What? <laughs> so that's a rabbit home. Yeah. Apparently, what did you find? For guinea pigs, chinchillas, and ferrets. And cats. I think it's too small for cats. I think it's big enough for a cat. It's a cat trap. I don't think it's big enough for a cat. They even have hamster and gerbil food. Hamster and gerbil food. That's awesome. Is this is where you get your hamster food. What? Is this where you get your hamster, hamster and gerbil food? I don't have a hamster or gerbil. Oh, we have bear mace here. So, I don't even know what that is. Bear mace? I don't know what that is. It's mace strong enough for bears. Oh, they have mouse traps. Mouse traps. All kinds of mouse traps. You know what? I'm going to get one just for the heck of it. They're only two ninety. Oh, one ninety nine. No, it's only one ninety nine. It's nice to have them around the house. Mouse trap. We'll have them ready to go. Oh, here's the cat food. Cat food for miles. Every kind of cat food you want is in this place. This cat looks like he's photogenic. He'd be on a cat maze. The cat in that picture looked like he'd seen some stuff. Oh, oh here's wolf food. All right. What is, are, are these dogs or wolves? Well, those are wolves, but it's dog food. Red meat. And if you're if your wolf's on a diet, oh, this is with chicken. So you know it's good. Blood pressure too high with all the red meat and for when your dog needs to go to sleep pet beds. yep didn't you sleep in one of these no doesn't it look like it no 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 i never slept in a pet bed are you kidding me i'm not kidding you. so we've already gotten some weird looks uh oh you want one of these joe Nah, I'm good. You're good. You, you still got your uh, 
your dog toys at home. Very funny. Right? Very funny. Well, here you go. Heather might like this. <laughs> oh, if it wasn't nine or ten bucks, I'd buy it for her. I guess Santa Claus is coming over here. I guess. Yeah, right? What? <laughs> Nothing. Dog leashes. Got a cat leash here. Did you see leashes over, over in the cat section? I question the wisdom of even attempting to leash a cat. What's this, Joe? Water bottle for your dog, or is that where you put their poop? I don't know what that is. Oh, it's H. Yeah, it's like a water mechanism for a dog. Look who I found in World King. What's in your cart? Apparently, mouse traps. Yeah, what are you using those, those for? <laughs> I don't know. All right. What um, else you got? These look cool. They're like the bottom of waffle cone. Oh, that's cool. I thought they'd be fun to put in ice cream. Chicago mix. There you go. Salsa. I've never tried. This is allegedly America's first kettle chip. Okay. I love kettle chip chips. And for Midwest Gym... Is that them? This is dehydrated marshmallow bits to add to a cereal. I got it. That's cool. And what's in here? Oh, and some spicy cheese. For you. What's this? Um, apparently a dog toy, which is weird because we don't have a dog. Okay. So that's all we. That's all the time we have for. What is this place called? Home. Farm and home. Next time, if it rains again, or if the park shoot back, we'll go to uh, this place again. Or on another adventure. All right. They got some uh, extra candy. <laughs> I don't trust you. It's it's right here. <laughs> There's a good reason you, you don't want trust it. Him. That's not candy. Yeah, it is. No, I'm... it's not. <laughs> oh. Can you talk to the camera? Not while I'm walking. I got some goodies that I haven't seen at other stores. We haven't gone to Rural, Rural King yet, right? <laughs> Even though Jim believes we have. This place had the most dog food I've ever seen. They had cat food. They had, Joe, what else did they have? They horse food? food? They had rabbit food. They had horse food. Yeah. About the only thing I didn't see was cow food. Cow food? Oh, How much what all food? did they have? They did have hay in there, so maybe, I guess technically they did have cow food. Cow food? Yep. All right, we're gonna throw stuff in the in the back of the Midwest. That's you know what I did try looking for the bear pellets. I didn't see any. They didn't, they didn't have bear pellets, but you were looking for bear mace though. Just in case we run into bears. Every once in a while, you do hear about a bear being in someone's backyard. Yeah. So back in the day, Midwest Joe, Midwest Heather, Midwest Chud. We all went to, and Midwest Mike, and Midwest Finger, we would do go-karts during the summer. Oh, there's some police. Might be a car accident, I don't know. We used to go to this really good go-kart place. I'll tell you about it in a minute, but down here is tea time. That seems like a swing around fun town. Swing around fun town, sorry. Swing around fun town, it's not tea time, but tea time is a place that we used to go to all the time. Speaking of tea time, here's some vintage footage that we took you know what about we call this? 12 years ago. Underwater go-karts. Yeah. I don't know what it is about this time of the year, but there's really not a lot of stuff to shoot. So that's why you see so many YouTubers quit making contact content around this time of the year. Linda, are you having a good time? <laughs> Yay! Heather, having a good time? Yeah, but I'm about ready to go. Joe? What? You having a good time? Yeah, sure. I'm having a great time. It's always a good time. Your favorite female singers on that song. <laughs> <laughs> 